Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. I am going to go over the secrets to shooting that nobody is going to tell you and nobody wants you to know. I mean, it's just real plain and simple, man. In this game, let's let's just go to let's go where we need to be going, man. In this game, first off, we had our uh, 97 subs on Twitch, so um, yeah, go ahead on and do that. We will have a Rack Nation shirt shirt coming up. Let me show y'all the Rack Nation shirt real quick. Uh, while we running the neighborhood, you know, Diddy Diddy running the city. Um, we got the 404 Atlanta shirt. Uh, let me see. I don't know if I saved my other shirt. Let's see, created shirts, buy shirt, T-shirt, vote. They pulled them down. But anyway, it's a Rack Nation shirt that looks like the one right above me, right there. It just says Rack, what he's doing there. So y'all decide what y'all want to call y'all selves, man. Are you Rack Nation? Are, are we, Are we? you know, Rack Nation, Rock Nation, whatever? You know, whatever y'all want to be, Team Easy. I don't know. Y'all figure it out. But as soon as I put that shirt up on there, it will also be available on Amazon for you to buy in real life. So... If, if anybody wants to do that, man, I, I don't know if anybody is interested in that. Let me know down in the comments. But besides that, give me some of that doubt, man. Besides that, I am going to give you guys the secrets to shooting that nobody wants you to know. And the real Ashy Booty Eater and Coke Gotti, the fresh gamer. If you don't do nothing else, make sure you go check out Coke Gotti, man. My man got fire content, one of the best shooters in the game. When I was trying to learn how to play this game, that's whose channel I, I, I came across. And it, and uh, I think his first video that I watched, it was called Paul, Paul George is so wet on the park. And uh, that was in 2K16 before you could even make your, you couldn't even make a jump shot back then. So it was 2K16 before you could even do it. And uh, it was like, Paul George is so wet on the park. I started using that jump shot. I haven't come off of Paul George in some, in some rendition, um, you know, since. Now, the jump shot that we got for you guys is, uh, oh, yeah, 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 the secret. The secret to shooting, man. There really is one secret to shooting. The one secret to shooting is this. Your jump shot is, your base is the jump shot. That's it. And a lot of people just are figuring this out. A lot of people are just now finding this out. Let me give you all a jump shot too, a sweet jump shot. Um, a lot of people are just now finding this out. But your base is everything. Not a percentage. It is everything. Your base is the jump shot. You know what I'm saying? Your base is the jump shot. So when I'm telling you that your base is the jump shot, I'm telling you that, look, okay, so check this jump shot out right here. This is a good jump shot. I know you guys probably, probably are skeptical about it because it's got Larry Bird. Larry Bird has no celebrations. Larry Bird has nothing. This Larry Bird base is one of the purest bases I've I've used in the game, but it's so fast. And uh, this is a jump shot for a big man right here. Release 22. Uh, let me see, let's, let's, let's get the blend and everything. This is on, it should be on uh, quick. So you got Patrick Ewan 30%, release 22 at 70%, and Larry Bird at uh, as the base. And then you got it at the highest speed. You can you can change the speed if you want to. But um, that is that's one of the best jump shots I've used. I'm gonna show it to y'all guys while we do this. But when I'm telling you that the base is everything for a jump shot, the base is everything. Base nine was one of the best bases in the game, one of the most pure bases in the game. The only thing, the only reason that I like base nine over this base right here. It's because base nine is catch and go straight up. With Larry Bird, he has to bend down and go straight up. But when I'm telling you the base is everything, what I'm saying is your upper releases are only the cue. And the reason I, and the reason we know this is with your upper releases, I have put the um no matter what I do, oh uh, okay, well, no matter what I do on on whatever base I choose, I put I put my um on any base that I choose. I put um I put uh the way the, the the two things on it the uh I put LA and I put on 
Paul George in a rendition, and I, I usually mix those, and I put them on one jump shot, and it looked completely different than when I put it on the other jump shot. Now, that's when I knew for a fact for myself that the base is everything. The base is the jump shot because when I did, uh, y'all, y'all know, y'all saw it a couple of weeks ago when I put this on. I put my um, I put my base on, and this is why I like this jump shot because you can you can miss time it and it'll still go in. That still should be good too. But um, when I put the base on base one, I use base one, and um, and I put the G O L A, you know, the George L A uh, mix on it, and I put it on base one, and it looks completely different than it did when I put it on on um on uh, base nine so that at that point a couple weeks ago we knew that the base was everything not only was it completely different but um it was slow as hell like it literally was slow i couldn't speed it up no matter what speed i put it on it was the same thing and that was not the case in 2k17 in 2k17 the base was just an element so in 2k17 you had three elements uh, of uh, of shooting, it was your two. It was your two upper releases, uh, your time, and I guess you could call timing one, but timing didn't matter. Uh, so it was your two upper releases. It was your uh, your timing and your base. And if they made a change to something, you could change it, and uh, you could use your other base. You could change something about about the jump shot. You could just change the blending, and the jump shot would be back. You could say you could you could literally in 2K17 change the blending one tick, and it would be back. But on this, on this, um, on on this game, the base is everything, and I think they did that so that if they have a problem, they can just break the base, like literally break the base. But fortunately, there are some bases in the game that if they try to break them, it won't be that beneficial to them, and it won't be that beneficial to them because, whew, man, I need some drink. It won't be that beneficial to them because because the bases are so quick. So that's why you're gonna see people using LA and base 11 and stuff like that. The way that they broke base nine, a lot of people don't understand how they broke it. They put a lot of movement in base nine. Base nine has so much movement in it now that you can catch the ball and be completely stationary. And when you try to shoot the ball, your guy's gonna do a moving shot. That's how they broke it. And God forbid two people on your team have base nine on, oh my God. If two people have base nine on, on the same team, you cancel Christmas. Now I know um I know that uh, that my dog told y'all uh, yesterday, T Mills, y'all can check his channel out too, that he told y'all about some of this yesterday, and um he was telling you that base eight is good. They broke base eight this morning. I could not hit a shot to say the way the way that you do this too, as soon as you get it up over, over his head, you let it go. Um they broke base eight this morning. I couldn't get a green with base eight or hit a shot this morning with base eight to save my life. And I had a dude with Diamond passing me the ball, Cash. Like, it was insane. So when they do that, they completely break the bases. And some of the ways I've seen what they're doing is they're either changing the timing of the base, and you can't, like last year, you could offset the timing of the base with the upper release and the uh, lower release, or uh, upper uh, release one and two. You could change release one and two or you could, uh, you could speed the jump shot up or slow it down. But now you can only speed the jump shot up so much. So the jump shots, like you know how we used to have on quick, now they're not on quick anymore. Now it's just as slow as it was. If I would have put on jumper number, number one, dude, it would just be this slow still. So what I'm saying to you is, when you find the base, you're gonna have to stick with the base or find, find something similar to it. Because if it breaks, they're gonna break it in a different way. Now, if they break it like they broke um, break, broke base nine, base nine is nearly un, is nearly unusable unless you have a person that uh, that shoots off the dribble a lot. If you shoot off the dribble a lot, one thing I like about this jump shot too is he comes to a complete stop. The Larry Bird base will make you come to it. If you're moving and then you pull, he comes to a complete stop and he pulls. So if you're a guard and you get the drifting animation a lot, you see that? Cash. Larry Bird will come to a complete stop and and you can shoot the shot and most of the time you're gonna hit it so like i said this 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 might not be for everybody but i actually like this jump shot i mean it's good it's been good to me um it's been good to me a whole lot so it is what it is look at that everything is going in on this jump shot i hope nobody really does and then they damn break they break this for me and then i can't i can't 
I can't do anything. But if y'all want me to keep making these jump shot videos, man, y'all want to keep finding ones. This is for big men. This is for small guys. This is for people that are having, have, look at that. He just pulls straight up, bang. He stops, like this base literally stops you and you go into Larry Bird's shot. The only thing is, when you're hitting, you're not gonna get any celebrations, so you won't know pre you won't know prematurely if you hit it or not. So that sucks. But other than that, I mean, it's a great base. I like some celebrations. I like a little flair in my game. So you know, that's that's why I don't. But uh, and that's another reason that you know that the bases control everything. Larry Bird don't have any flair in his game. He don't have anything. And also, when you use a different base, you get different celebrations. If you use J.R. Smith, you get the you get some of the the. the you know, the the, 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 the uh, switch the guns. If you use the little, you get where he goes down to the floor. And uh, you know, you get some of the Steph Curry turnaround, or turnaround releases on base nine. But uh, other than that, you really don't, you know, you get all those Steph Curry joints on base nine. So we know that the base controls everything about your jump shot. Because I mean, from not, not just the timing to, to how you move, it controls if you're gonna drag how much you're gonna drag shot, how many loadups you're gonna get. It controls how um, your celebrations afterwards, it controls how you land, it controls every single thing. But like I said, if you've been getting a lot of drag shots, if you've been getting a lot of loadups, if you've been getting a lot of shots where, where you're moving, look at that, you see how he comes to, he comes to a complete stop when you use this base. This, look at that, cash. Like, that's not, not cash. He, but for the most part, unless you just continuously, look, complete stop, bang. And you're gonna knock it down. Unless you are just in, uh, hell bent on running, he's going to stop. So that's why I like this base, man. That's why I like this jump shot. As soon as it get up over his head, you just let it ride. And like I said, if you're a guard, he might jump a little bit higher, but this is for, um, this is for bigs right here. This is what I really like, man. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. It, um, if you have a good release, if you have a good two upper releases, um, and you have a good Q, keep your Q the same. Your Q is gonna be different for every uh for everything that you do, obviously, right? But uh, if the Q gonna the Q, what I'm saying, the Q is gonna be different. Is I'm saying when I use the G O L A, it still is always gonna be when he turns his wrist over. But on some jump shots he'll turn his wrist over in front of his head. On other bases, he turns his wrist over when it gets to the crest of his head. You see what I'm saying? To the crown of his head. So here, when I used this jump shot, it was so bad that I had to go make the uh, the G-O-L-A uh, joint with, with, two other, with two other people. So I had to use 22 and I had to use uh, Patrick Ewan. And that gave me what I was looking for, where it's right in front of his head and you can shoot it. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, these are some of the things that people don't tell you. I mean, they, they, they try to tell you, but they really don't tell you like this because they really don't want y'all to know because they want to seem like they're the best and they don't want you guys to get any better. I'm going to tell you everything that I can about the game. We're going to start doing two videos a day. If y'all want some man, let me know. Let me know if you guys want franchise or whatever and uh, if y'all want franchise with Bree or whatever. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Like, look, you can't deny that the base is a good base when I've hit nearly 60 out of 80. Like, that's that's an insane percentage, right? And it's just like, you see how green it is. If you can just get, if you can just get the timing on it, you're good to go. And the thing that, I, the, the thing that I'm telling you is, when somebody's giving you a good jump shot, if the jump shot is not green, if the jump shot isn't good for you, then this is what you do. Don't give up on the jump shot. Just say, okay, well, I'm gonna continue to use the base, but create your own cue. That's what I want you guys to do. So if somebody gives you a good jump shot, the jump shot don't work for you, um, a lot of people are using like the Lonzo Ball and LA mixed together. If that's a good cue for you, use that cue, right? And then just use their base and then figure out where where you know where it goes on their base, where, where the cue is on the base, and then you just tweak it until it looks like what you want it to look like. And then you'll have a good jump shot. But they want you to use their whole jump shot, so you have to keep coming to them for the whole jump shot. You don't need to do that. You only need to pay attention to the base because everything else is irrelevant. Like I said, if you don't believe what I'm saying, go put on jump shot one, put on jump shot one's base, and put it on the fastest, um, put it on the fastest, the fastest timing that you can. Do that, and I guarantee you, 
that you cannot speed it up. You can't speed it up. I tried. I've tried everything. I tried different releases. I tried different um, different elements. I tried everything. I even put Ray Allen on it. It doesn't make it any faster. It just it's not gonna be any faster. So it is what it is, man. Anyway, they weren't gonna let me hit 70 out of 100. Y'all already know that. So as soon as look, as soon as we get to where I can't hit 70 out of 100, though, I'm gonna get. Okay, maybe I ain't gonna get no more greens, but that's gonna go in. Anyway, as soon as I can't, I can't hit 70 out of 100. That's green. As um, soon as I can't hit 70 out of 100, they did. Look, 68 out of 100. You'll be good. You'll be doing good to do that on anything. But like I'm saying, man, I'm giving you the proof. The proof is in the pudding. I am the jump shot plug. Shout out to my dog, J.O. the Don. I'm telling you, I'm the jump top, jump shot architect. I can see things in this game that other people just can't see. I will tell you guys how to get your hot spots like that in the morning. You already know it, but I have a more refined way to do it. And, um, and it actually works. I'm going to show you right now that it actually works. No, I ain't want to go to 2K Loud, man. I'm going to show you right now that it actually works. And I'm going to show you that I didn't have my hot spots this morning. And I'm going to show you right now um, that. And then I'm going to let y'all get up out of here. But this is the best way to shoot. If you want to learn how to shoot, you want to shoot better. Somebody asked me this morning. The only reason I did this video is because somebody asked me this morning, Jay, how do you shoot so well with a with an 80 open three and everybody else can't shoot or is crying about shooting and they have pure sharp shooters? And, and the, the real answer would be because I'm better at the game than a lot of people. But the, 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 the real answer is because I break this stuff down, I look at it, and then I practice, 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 you know, when I don't have anything else to do. So that's really what it is, man. Um, you got to practice. You got to put the time in. And I put the time in. See, that's my hot spots right there. That, that's them. And I will show you guys how to do that tomorrow. Let's get the video. Can we get 500 likes? If we can get 500 likes, I'll show y'all how to uh, show you how to get the hot spots. Super easy. Won't take you any time. It's probably the methods you've already seen, but you ain't seen them hot spots be like mine. Anyway, man, I'm about to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got to practice shooting a little bit more. And um, and hopefully we'll see you guys in the stream in the morning. If I'm not there in the morning, it's because I had a rough day at work. And uh, we played Pro-Am and stuff, and I probably stayed up too late with my wife um, tonight, if you know what I mean. Anyway, got to get up out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Hello! 360 out this mug.